So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the electoral college after this August's consistory. Uh, the electoral college who will elect the next pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So the next um, cardinal that we're going to look at is Cardinal Peter Ebere Okpaleke. And uh, we're just going to go through his bio. There, he doesn't have a profile on the Vatican's website yet because he hasn't been created a cardinal until the end of this month. But I'm including him in the list because, uh, you know, this series will be around for a while. So well, let's go through the bio of future Cardinal Peter Okpaleke. Peter Ebere Okpaleke, born on the 1st of of March 1963 is Nigerian prelate of the Catholic Church and has been Bishop of Ek Wulobia since 29th of April 2020. He was appointed Bishop of Ayara in 2012 and consecrated in 2013 by a local but after the local clergy and laity insisted on Mbeze Bishop instead, he was installed as bishop of Equilobia. very interesting that he 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 the diocese where he was supposed to be bishop he was booted out of on the 29th of may 2022 bishop uh, pope francis announced he would make okpalepe cardinal in a consistory scheduled for the 27th of august yeah incredible so he attended local schools and in 1983 entered the Bigarde Memorial Major Seminary in Ikot Ek Pene and Enugu, where he studied philosophy and theology from 1983 to 1992. He was ordained a priest in the Diocese of Owa Oka on the 22nd of August 1990. In 20 years following his ordination, he filled a wide range of a wide variety of pastoral and administrative uh, positions, including university chaplain, parish priest, diocesan financial administrator, diocesan chancellor and secretary, and member of diocesan boards. He also studied canon law in Rome in the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross, uh, Upstay. On 7th of December 2012, Pope Benedict appointed Oak. Paleke, Bishop of Ahiara in Nigeria. Opaleke was consecrated as Bishop on the 21st of May 2013. Because of objections, objections to his appointment, his consecration was held outside the diocese. Oh my God, incredible. In the major seminary of Ulakwo in the Archdiocese of Owiri. Local clergy and parishioners objected to his appointment and prevented him from entering the cathedral in order to take possession of the diocese. A petition objecting to the fact that Okpalek was not of the area's Mbeze ethnic origin was sent to Pope Benedict after his appointment Okpalek a bishop. On the 9th of June 2017, Pope Francis gave clergy of the diocese 30 days to either write a letter promising obedience and accepting Okpaleke as their bishop or be suspended. Clergy sent letters of apology but continued to protest what they saw as racial discrimination. Interesting. On the 19th of February 2018, Pope Francis accepted Okpaleke's resignation as bishop of Ahiara. On the 5th of March 2020, just two years after Accepting his resignation as Bishop of Ahiara, Pope Francis appointed Ok Paleke as Bishop of the Diocese of Equilobia, a newly created diocese in the Anambra state, which formerly had its territory under the diocese, uh, under the jurisdiction of Aqua Diocese. 
Okpaleke was installed there on the 29th of April 2020. So this is the profile of Cardinal Peter Eberi Okpaleke. He will be created Cardinal at the end of um, of August. He does not stand a chance of ever becoming Pope in the next conclave. He just doesn't have the profile. He wouldn't be known. He doesn't have any. Um, he doesn't have any history really in in the Vatican at all at the moment. And it just seems like Pope Francis was making a statement with his creation as cardinal. You know what he felt, and uh, very interesting. So, this is episode nine of uh, Cardinal Profiles. Who would he vote for in the next conclave? Well, Peter Turkson uh, would be the person that he would probably put down as the number one and who knows in subsequent ballots. But um, it's just interesting that we we uh, see this profile of this man and his history and uh, uh, his consecration and uh, his rise. So he will be an, a cardinal elector for the next 21 years. So, um, you know, it, it will be interesting to see what will happen in the future. Uh, God bless. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>